The following program is a special presentation of the Big Ten Network, produced in association with Purdue University. Welcome to Purdue Pride, the program featuring highlights of interesting people and events from the campus of Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. In this edition, you'll see the return of the first and last men to walk on the moon and 14 other astronaut alumni to celebrate the dedication of a major engineering building, progress on a number of other new facilities, a football coaching change, a football bowl victory, the science-bound program, homecoming activities, and how Purdue Research is helping improve safety, nutrition, and health overseas. There's plenty to see in the next half hour, all on Purdue Pride. The October 2007 dedication of the state-of-the-art Neil Armstrong Hall of Engineering marked a giant leap for Purdue's top-ranked engineering program. It's the cornerstone of Purdue's strategic plan and the university's commitment to remaining at the forefront of engineering research and education. The $53 million building serves as a gateway to engineering research and education and features a 53-foot high atrium with a hanging replica of the Apollo 1 re-entry capsule. The first man on the moon, 1955 Purdue graduate Neil Armstrong, was one of 16 astronaut alumni to attend the dedication ceremony. And so we dedicate this magnificent new building, but by itself it cannot impart knowledge. It requires innovative faculty, skilled staff, curious and determined students to produce those graduates who will provide a host of societal advances. Another of Purdue's 22 astronaut alumni, Gene Cernan, also spoke. He's the most recent astronaut to set foot on the moon. This building is a recognition of all the steps any of us ever made in space. Why so many astronauts from Purdue? I do know that when we leave here, we are indeed special. We're our Boilermakers. We come with one of the finest educations we can find from any university in the country. The facility is home to Purdue's School of Aeronautics and Astronautics, the School of Materials Engineering, the Department of Engineering Education, and several engineering programs. Minority engineering, women in engineering, and engineering projects and community service. The entrance to the new Armstrong Hall is highlighted by a statue depicting the first man on the moon as a student. What other school would put a petrified student on a pedestal alongside an engineering building? Martha Chaffee, the widow of alumni astronaut Roger Chaffee, also attended the dedication. At a football game three weeks earlier, she donated a sample from the lunar surface to the university. The moon rock has been put on permanent display inside Armstrong Hall. It will help inspire a new generation of explorers who will stand on the shoulders of giants like Roger Chaffee. Three other buildings were also dedicated in October. The 20,000 square foot Beck Agricultural Center will provide facilities for teaching, training, and research at Purdue's agronomy farm. At the Indiana University, Purdue University, Fort Wayne campus, the $25 million John and Ruth Reinhardt Music Center was dedicated. The facility features a 1,600 seat performance hall and a 250 seat recital hall. Purdue President Cordova attended the event. The John and Ruth Reinhardt Music Center at IPFW will inspire the human spirit for generations to come. A further effort to enhance diversity at Purdue, a new Native American educational and cultural center was dedicated on the West Lafayette campus. Uh, this is a great day in the history of Purdue University. Several homecoming week events were held to celebrate new Purdue facilities. <laughs> Ground was broken for the Wayne and Mary Hockmeyer Hall of Structural Biology. The nearly 66,000 square foot building will provide a home for structural biology, 
a key research area in the College of Science. This new building will give Purdue's renowned Structural Biology Group the space to continue to be at the forefront of this field. This Nicewanger Aviation Technology Building was unveiled at the Purdue Airport. The proposed new Bill and Sally Hanley Hall will house the Human Development Institute, which fosters research on families, aging, and leadership. <laughs> Fundraising success was celebrated for the $33 million Roger Gatewood Mechanical Engineering Wing. This is another great day for Purdue University. A new $12 million building was announced to house Purdue's top-ranked Department of Hospitality and Tourism Management. It is a state-of-the-art hall for teaching, research, and additional dining options for the campus and community. This today is about the present, and it's also about the future. Purdue uh, Athletics Director Morgan Burke jump-started a new era in Purdue football with the naming of Danny Hope as football associate head coach in early January 2008. Following the 2008 season, Hope will succeed Joe Tiller, who will retire. The key was to make a smooth transition something Purdue has never been able to accomplish in its history, and not to foster or breed the uncertainty that would hinder future recruiting efforts. I think he's the right guy at the right time, and uh, I think that uh, Purdue football uh, will be very, very good in the future, will prosper in the future. Hope will coach the offensive line in 2008. When he takes over, many things will stay the same, since Hope was an assistant under Tiller for six years, before he spent five years as head coach for Eastern Kentucky. We did a lot of things the Joe Tiller way at Eastern Kentucky University, and I think that uh, when the time comes, uh, it'll be an easier transition uh, because of that. The Purdue football team capped its season with a nail-biter victory at the Motor City Bowl in Detroit. Purdue squeaked by Central Michigan 51 to 48 when Chris Summers kicked the 40-yard winning field goal as time expired. The 99 combined points tied the second highest total for any bowl game. Junior quarterback Curtis Painter was selected the game's most valuable player. Coming up in our next segment, success in preparing inner city students for science and math at Purdue. This special presentation of the Big Ten Network is brought to you by Purdue University, where the sky is not the limit.